Hi, I'm Simon Rosardo with the Merritt Snowmobile Club and want to give you a couple tips and tricks that you might want to take uh, some equipment with you this winter when you uh, head out to the backcountry. First thing, we have uh, maybe a basic GPS. This one here, pin your location in case you get uh, lost or need to get back to that waypoint. We have some waypoints for different uh, junctions and any of our shelters up on Thine and in the honeymoon area. So that will get you where you want to go. What if you wanted to tell somebody where you were you needed to call help? Basic GPS, plus it has the in-reach feature. Not so much on the mapping, you got to have that with, connected with an app onto your phone with that SE. The next one, 66i, has color screen, you can have color maps, and you can have in-reach. So you can hit that SOS button if you really needed uh, help and uh, you can do text messages. You can have two-way text. You can also do two-way text with this one. You can call Valley Helicopters to come rescue you if you're uh, broken down. So those are the three options for, uh, for maybe some basic gear that you want to take with you uh, for summoning help or knowing exactly where you are. The next thing that you probably want to have with you is probably your beacon. Probably the most important thing that you're going to want. If you have just one, kind of pointless. You want to have everybody in the group to have one. It allows you to be able to be found if you get buried in an avalanche and it allows you to find other people if they're buried in an avalanche. Make sure that's on your body, not in a backpack, not in your, uh, on your sled. Um, you wanna do a self check every time you start it up. It does a uh, quick search. Make sure that your battery levels are okay before you head out in the morning. Remember the cold will zap your batteries. You wanna have 99%. Uh, that's, the, that's the best number you can get on these things. Uh, and do a self-test when you get to the parking lot. Make sure you can pick up your other buddies that are in the parking lot, and that way you can make sure yours is on. We're gonna have two beacon checkers out this year. We're gonna have one at the Brookmere parking lot, and we're gonna have one at the 24K junction. And that's gonna allow you to go and check your own beacon as you drive by, and it'll pick you up, give you a green circle if you're actually beaconing. A lot of people forget to even turn on the unit. They may have it on them, but they may not have it uh, turned on. The other thing for communication was some sort of a two-way radio. There's a lot out there. There's a lot of, nobody really knows just what they have. They kind of go with their group, but then their group can't talk to anybody else. You can get basic FRS radios, which are a UHF radio. So basically the family radio system that you can get, pretty basic, not a whole lot of range, about two watts of power. You can get BCA radios that are out there. Same thing, it's like a supersized version of the FRS radios. You can get a dual band radio, those are out there. There's some Bofangs out there. You can do uh, your RR channels. You can do uh, the FRS channels as well. They all, you just have to know how to use your radio. Get a radio that's gonna work for you uh, and allow you to be able to call for help. That's, that's the other important part. The other one, what about talking in your group? I know for me and my family, we go out sledding. We have the kids with us. We want to be able to talk to each other as we're going down the trail. We always have one kid always trying to look behind, make sure that the group is with them. What if you actually had radios right on your helmet? So these radios here, they're called a Cardo. You actually mount them inside your helmet. There's speakers and a microphone, and it allows you to talk within a group of 15 people. They're mounted in, they got about a range, about a kilometer at best, um, but it allows 15 riders to go out and be able to communicate without pressing any buttons, all hands-free. It's like talking to Siri. You can say, hey, Cardo, volume up. Hey, Cardo, volume down. You can have your music paired from your phone. You can have uh, your GPS tell you turn to turn directions on it. Um, this has kind of come from the motorbike industry. Uh, it's starting to get out into the snowmobile thing. Uh, in our group, we use this quite heavily. One person can start the group. Everybody can join it. If that one person that started the group leaves, comes back, it doesn't matter, it all meshes together. It's not just that one person leaves, then the link dies. We have six of these when we go out, when we have our full group, and uh, it seems to be the best thing that we've found. You can even go and get the Bluetooth dongle from your two-way radio and pipe that into the helmets as well. Uh, but basically, just make sure that you're not just relying on that cell phone that's gonna be no good out in the backcountry. Um, there's not a lot of cell phone service, uh, especially up in Honeymoon. Uh, not bad up in, in our Thine area, but uh, make sure that you can talk to your group. 
We want this year to be a really safe year. We're trying to be proactive in getting out information to the group and make sure that uh, everybody's safe this winter. Thanks for watching the video.